letter was from the widow of her mentor and the director of her graduate uh, thesis. And uh, what uh, her, she wrote was, uh, her sister sent to me the additional notes on teaching. What an interesting letter from Patricia's student, Karen Age, and her research into Alzheimer's. I hope she will find out what causes it. As you know, it runs in my family, my mother, grandmother, and brother, and also in my husband's Cedric's. He was, when he retired, uh, already begun to show signs of Alzheimer's. His checkbook was the first sign for her that enabled her to identify that that's what was going on. Uh, so uh, there was a connection, a thread that runs through from uh, her teacher to her student to another generation <laughs> of students that carry on uh, this particular line of interest and research. It so happens that Professor Boulder, Cedric Boulder's ashes, he died from Alzheimer's, are a few feet from Patricia's ashes. They both are in the columbarium at St. Mark's Episcopal Cathedral. Uh, as far as the quotation from Chekhov goes, this will indicate why I know <laughs> it is her favorite author. The book is practically falling apart. Um, one of the characteristics of Patricia was her devotion to hard work. In fact, once again, after she retired from St. Paul Academy, she went on to uh, have private clients that she advised on college admissions work. And she helped young people. That was her passion, as she said. She marketed 18-year-olds um, <laughs> to colleges and universities. Um, and uh, incidentally, she would never use the word better college. She always used the terms appropriate uh, colleges. Um, at any rate, uh, the quotation that, uh, I, with Mara's help, I, we picked was from uh, Chekhov's play, The Three Sisters. Uh, the youngest sister, Irina, uh, it's the third last statement in the play. Um, it's a rather uh, sad play, but Irina is the one optimist in the group, really. And here's what she said. A time will come when everyone will know what all this is for why there's all this suffering, and there'll be no mysteries. But meanwhile, we must live. We must work. Only work. I want to give you thanks for this room, this dedication, this, uh, this opportunity, but I especially want to give you thanks for your work. Uh, both the work that has been done, the work that is going on, and the work that still remains to be done. So my Thanks for you all for carrying Thank on you. that work. And I hope you are successful soon. <laughs> Thank you.